Let us pray. Father which art in heaven, thank you for this opportunity. We are grateful for this time and for the blessing for Bishop Eddie to be 60 years old today. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for this blessing. We are, we are grateful in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Well, I just want to acknowledge the presence of the great men of God who are here to honor Bishop Eddie, Bishop Takia Boy, very good friend, and uh, Reverend Fitz Odonko, and um, Bishop Patrick Anyome, Reverend Steve Mensah, um, all of you who have come, and um, also the, our own bishops, UD bishops, um, thank you all for coming to honor Bishop Eddie. Well, I'm here. I've been asking Bishop Eddie, what exactly am I supposed to say? <laughs> He's not answering me. And Reverend Steve Mensah also, and Stanley, my good friend, Reverend Bempa, Bishop Sa, God bless you, Bishop Emeritus. All the pastors, please, uh, in, in school, we used to say, assume all titles. <laughs> God bless you all for coming. And um, I'm grateful to the Lord for... Bishop Eddie was born in, in 1963, and we are in 2023. That's 60 years ago. It's a long time. And um, it's a great blessing that we are here. We celebrated many 31st Decembers and 1st Januaries and sang his be happy birthday to him on the 1st many times. And then finally we are here uh, as a family still by the grace of God. So we are, we are excited to be here to celebrate. Amen. I uh, thank all our bishops and our family. We have been together very strongly uh, for so many years. Um, just as my wife was saying, uh, Bishop Eddie had a special role that he was playing. A little different from the one that Bishop Saki played. Bishop Eddie was doing some different things. And when I was trying to get a beloved, he was somebody who will be awake in the night for us to discuss. Yes. <laughs> we could discuss almost to the morning about the future, whether it will work. And uh, that was a great blessing. The only blemish in that season was my hamburger that he ate. <laughs> now that was a very serious thing because it was given to be brought to me and before I realized he had eaten it. Uh, it has never been forgotten and I don't think it will ever be forgotten. Even in heaven we shall talk about this hamburger. So, well, and my wife was, she was, I mean, reminding us of the things, you know, we used to go to his house in Akuse. He had this beautiful house, air-conditioned Porsche estate. So we used to drive to Akuse to just be there. We have meetings, pray, walk around the estate. And it was very nice. And um, he used to drive 
to Accra for weekday service and for Sundays. And uh, we're always together, myself, Bishop Saki, and Bishop Eddie. At that time, our wives were even smaller. So, can you believe it? Six of us will fit into a Renault 4. Can you imagine? Six. Do you know Renault 4? Uh, it's not around these days, but if you come to Mampong, there's one there. Six people we fitted in to that car and would drive from Accra to Tema. Everybody was slim in those days. <laughs> it's amazing. And we, we've had um, many great years together. We didn't have children at the beginning. God bless us. We, we had children. Our children have grown up. Our pastors are in full-time ministry. Some of them, um, we, are, we are grateful to God that he has kept us together as a family, as a strong family still, together after all these years. It's a real great blessing. So I also appreciate Bishop Eddie, I appreciate Bishop Saki, uh, and of course others as well. But for us being together, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great blessing. So, Bishop Eddie, on your 60th birthday, I say happy birthday. And um, I'm also just grateful to the Lord for what, what he has done in bringing us as a family. Jesus said, who is my brother? Who is my sister? Who is my mother? And he said, those who hear the word of God and do it. Those people are my brother and my sister and my mother. And truly speaking, in life, God gives you brothers and sisters, mothers, fathers, who are not biological, but they become even more than biological. Because that is actually what Jesus said. Who is my brother? Who is my mother? Who is my sister? So we are grateful to God that he has kept us beautifully together. And I'm, I'm grateful. Um, what, I, what I've decided to do, since he's not telling me exactly what to do, can somebody get rid of the humming, the feedback? Maybe there's a mic on somewhere. What I've decided to do is that I'm going to read our year of thankfulness, being thankful. I'm going to read it again. And uh, relate it to this great celebration. Lord, number one, Lord, I am thankful that in 20 and I'm sure you have, you have the points. You can put it up. Yeah. I have the blessing of never going backwards, but forwards only. Amen. Amen. In 2023, I am going forward in my life and ministry. Amen. 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 So those of you controlling the screens, put it, the points up as I read them. So I want to say, Bishop Eddie... Uh, we are thankful today that you've been going forward and not backwards. And so and you've been going forward, 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 and we are believing God that you will continue to move forward. Amen. As you yourself recounted, you were able to move forward until today. Bishop Eddie was only our worship leader. I'm not, I, don't, I'm not, I don't mean that it's not a high position, but I'm saying that that is what he was. I preach, Bishop Asaki was my assistant, and Bishop Eddie was my worship leader. That's, that is how we, we run the church that way. I mean, I have two assistants, 
and that was it for years and years and years and years. In fact, it's just three years ago that we uh, instituted the Executive Council to take over that role from us. So, Bishop Eddie, I'm thankful. And as he has been moving forward, I declare over your life that you are also going to move forward and not moving backward in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two, I am thankful that I have the blessing of finding what I have been looking for. As Jesus said, cast your net on the side and you shall find. Amen. So I believe, Bishop Eddie, that 60 years have gone by and I believe that you have found what you couldn't find in VRA. Yes. I'm sure you were looking for something in VRA. In fact, you were. If you'll be honest, you were looking for something in VRA. You wanted to be a principal director. You wanted to be a director. You wanted to be a manager. Uh, you wanted to get one of those pickups that they were driving. I mean, you had visions. A co Toyota Corona. Yes. You had the, all those visions. But you see, sometimes you don't even know what you are looking for. And Jesus said, cast your net on this side and you shall find. So I believe that you have found great satisfaction. And even at this age, you have left with only 10 years to be 70. I mean, that's a serious thing. Who would have ever thought of you being a 70-year-old man? Thank God that in Christ and in the ministry, we are finding what people are searching for and dying for in the world, God has given us a greater satisfaction in his house. Amen. Now, for the rest of you, may you find whatever it is you are looking for. As Jesus said, cast your net on the side and you shall find. May you find it in 2023. Amen. Number three, Lord, I am thankful that throughout this year, I shall experience your involvement in all my ways. Amen. God's involvement in everything I'm doing will give a better outcome. I thank God that I am becoming more healthy and more wealthy in 2023 because God is arranging and providing for me. Can I have an amen? Amen. And I want to say, God has been involved in Bishop Eddie's life, and we are thankful to the Lord. And you see that he has been providing and arranging for you. And you are becoming more healthy and wealthy every day. And may you continue to be more healthy and wealthy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And for the rest of us, May God provide for you. God has, God has provided for Bishop Eddie all through these years. I remember the first car that we bought for him, a Nissan Cherry. It cost 720 cities, isn't it? Or is it 720,000? 720,000 old Ghana cities. I was involved in that. I went to negotiate and beg a certain man, hey, but he will not reduce it. Very small car, but that was his first car. God has been providing and arranging and blessing throughout these years. And may God provide for you and arrange for you what you cannot arrange for yourself throughout the year 2023. Amen. Bishop Eddie is very good at golf. Some of us are discouraged from playing with him because he's always winning and we are always losing. Yes. But God has been making him more healthy and wealthy. Receive healthy and wealthy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I am thankful that I have the blessing of a son and a daughter. And I am thankful 
the one you don't have these points here don't you have the points put it up the person should put it up maybe the right person has gone home and thank God that I can experience rebukes chastening and correction with a good attitude I shall bear the peaceable fruit of righteousness holiness and specialness that come through being chastened and corrected even when it is not a joyous experience amen bishop you see bishop eddie is older than me because i'm in my 50s you get it i'm in my 50s and he's in his 60s and but i can say that he's a son to me in the ministry yes i can say that he's a son to me in the ministry i can say that i'm his father because it's not by it's not by age it's by the grace of god and the gift of god and even though he's now 60 years old i am still relate with him as a father to him you see and I can still correct him and rebuke him so the Bible says that if you are chastened and rebuked it means God deals with you as a son And what happens is that many times you cannot be dealt with as you were dealt with when you were in your 20s. Because of the very next point. Let me just read the next one. I am thankful, amen, that throughout this year, I'm thankful for the restoration of humility. I have discovered that a lack, a loss of humility is the expe expe explanation for every failure and defect and sin in my life. Through humility, God will give me grace in 2023. And I am glad, thankful that God will not resist me or oppose me in 2023. Amen. Amen. Restoration of humility. Thank God. Because, you know, the Bible says the things that are in the world, the pride of life, the lust of the world, the lust of the eyes. You see, life brings pride. That's why it's called the pride of life. The, the more life you have, the more proud you are. That's why it's called the pride of life or the pride that comes from life or the pride that comes from living. So the longer you have lived and the longer you have had life, the more proud you are. That's why you can rebuke somebody when he's 25. When that same person is 40 or 50 years old and you rebuke the person, about the same thing or even something worse you will get a reaction who do you do you know how old i am this and that and that and you get the wildest reaction that you never expect because life brings pride life brings pride so if i'm telling you that at the age of 60 i can still relate with bishop eddie as his father and correct him or even transfer him or say go here or do this it's something that you should learn from you know i remember one time a certain pastor was transferred from his church and then he visited us and he said something he said that even that word transfer the word transfer 
how can that word transfer be used in relation to me? But it was. And he was transferred. And when he went to where he was transferred, the church that he went to, pastor there, flopped completely. And it turned into air. And he had to leave that place to another place which also flopped. And since then, he has nothing to show for his ministry. He was so angry that that word transfer. You see, the longer you live, the pride becomes more. Yes. And it's called the pride that comes from life and from living. And so all, all bishops and pastors, but when you were young, Somebody could say to you, do this, and you do that. Do this, and you do it. But the bigger you become, and the longer you've been around, you feel, how can somebody say this to me? How can you use this word? How can you say that to me? And I thank God for Bishop Eddie, and I thank God for Bishop Saki, that after, after the age of even 60, and that's why I said that they are all, they are all older than me. But I can say that Bishop Saki is also my son. Because well, that's how I relate to him as a father. And that's how, in fact, that's how he relates with me. Yeah. And it hasn't changed. For these two, I can say it hasn't changed by the grace of God. I've never had, I've never had a shouting, I've never had a shouting argument, a shouting uh, experience or even an argument. I've never had even an argument by the grace of God. Yeah, and I'm telling you the truth. So those of us who feel big, and you see, wherever you send them, you see whether they are really ministers or not. Like we are here. Is it a church or is not a church? Is it a church or is not a church? And where, where are we? Are we in a zoo? Are we, are, are we in a market? Is it not a church? There are people you send, they go out to start. They have nothing. The church doesn't work. Nothing works. It becomes a zoo. If you go to Nigeria now, you see the different cathedrals. When I, when I sent Bishop Saki, I wrote on a paper all the cities. I said, this, 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 this is it. And I gave it to him as a commission. And now you should see what God has done. Whereas you see other people, there's nothing to show. It's just a lot of hot air. A lot of hot talking. So I'm thankful that as I'm here, you know, and that's what we are praying for this year that the restoration of humility yes that you can be spoken to and you can be corrected that god deals with us as sons amen look at it lord i am thankful for the restoration of humility into my life because i have discovered that a lack of humility is the explanation of ev- for every defect failure and sin in my life through humility god will give me grace in 2023 i'm thankful that god will not resist me or oppose me in 2023 this is point number five and point number four since your points have finally come Point number four, Lord, I am thankful that in 2023, I have the blessing of a son and a daughter. And I'm thankful that I shall be dealt with as a son and a daughter in 2023. I am thankful that I can experience rebukes, chastening, and correction with a good attitude. Oh, yes. I shall bear the peaceable fruit of righteousness, holiness, and specialness that come through being chastened and corrected even when it is not a joyous experience god deals with you as sons the sign that you are a son is that you can be rebuked yes you can be corrected you can be told whatever so i want to say thank you to god and and we are thankful that the people that have been with me the longest the longest they are more humble towards me 
than those who, and who, and they have fruits not just being around you know there are some people that are around but there's nothing you if i send you somewhere what will what will be there ah But that's a blessing. May you have the spirit of humility. Amen. Amen. And number six. I'm thankful for all these on this 60th birthday. But it's the same thing that we are thanking God for in this year of being thankful. I can say thank you for each point in relation to Bishop Eddie. And number six. It says, Lord, I'm thankful that throughout this year, I have the blessing of being faithful and loyal. I shall never be ungrateful. Amen. Amen. I shall never be what? Ungrateful. ungrateful. I shall never repay good with evil. I officiated Bishop Eddie's wedding. I cleaned the floor of the hall. I wiped the floor, the whole canteen floor for his wedding. And I officiated his wedding. And I've been there at everything that there is in his life. That's just the truth. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'll never be ungrateful. I shall never be a liar. I shall never be a deceiver. I shall not repay good with evil. I shall never be Judas. I shall never be an Absalom. I am thankful that one day I shall hear those words. Well done, good and faithful servant. May this blessing be upon you. Oh, yeah. May somebody be able to say that I'm thankful that, oh, this man has never been Judas. This man has never been Absalom. This man has never been ungrateful. This man has never repaid good with evil yes that is a blessing that will be your story throughout 2023 amen and beyond and number seven i'm thankful that all my steps are guided by the lord i believe god has been guiding the steps of bishop eddie and god is going to guide your steps and number eight i'm thankful that i have the supernatural blessings of obedience. Obedience brings about many blessings. Amen. Obedience. Bishop Eddie was, I remember his office at the Kodesh. He was comfortable there. I said, move. Just move. Moved to start be in another church. And he moved. That's all. I said, airport, go to airport. And he went to airport. There's no, not even, there's no, 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 no long meeting. Obedience brings breakthroughs. Yes. Obedience brings breakthroughs. Because Jesus said, cast your net and the Peter said, we've been doing this all night. We've been doing this all night. The longer you do things, the more proud you become. But he said, nevertheless, at thy word. At thy word. I will obey. Because I believe in obedience. And what did the obedience do? It brought a big breakthrough. And everything changed. We wouldn't have this church. You people don't know how established we were at the Kodesh. Very, very established. Very, very established. Go. And then he went. At thy word. So, through obedience, we are enjoying Macarius Cathedral and many other churches. Amen. 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 So, may obedience this year I'm telling you a great secret. When God says something, be obedient. Obedience is the greatest sign of humility. When somebody doesn't obey you anymore, 
The person is proud towards you. Yeah. The person has become proud. Why? Because the Bible says that Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient. Even to the obedience of the cross. As soon as somebody has even five minute meeting with you about an instruction or a long argument or not obeying or that's not but the person is huge very proud that's pride that's what the bible says and obedience has great manifestations because obedience is a manifestation of your love if you love me keep my word obey me and I has not seen what God has prepared for those who love him or those who are obedient. God has great blessings for those who are obedient. Thank you. And when I told Bishop Eddie to go to airport, afterwards I said to him, find an, a land. He went and got a land also near the airport. Very expensive. I've never heard of anybody uh, bringing a tipper truck to come and take sand and stones to clear it from the land because you know how difficult it is to dig the thing back into the track when they clear the sand up to today we have not seen the, the person who came for it then i told him find the land far away you see and you know what he could have told me why don't you make up your mind do you want me to go to airport or not is this place airport this place is not airport one time i called one of my pastors i told him meet me here in a certain country when I got there, he wasn't there. So I, I, I took the phone and I called him. I said, ah, I told you I'm flying. I will come into this airport and I, I want to meet you. He told me, ah, I should make up my mind when I tell them to do things, which one do I want them to do? Because somebody, was, somebody wasn't well or there was a problem and he went to visit. Am I not the one who says we should visit those who have a problem? Then at the same time, I'm saying I should come and meet him here. This is what he told me. This is what he told me. I said, a proud person will have an argument with you over something you can't even imagine. But the blessings of obedience. I said, okay, there's nothing at airport here. And here we are. And it's working. So, obedience will bring you many breakthroughs. Amen. Lift your hand and receive the grace to be obedient. Receive the grace to be obedient. Receive the grace to be obedient. Amen. And number nine, the blessing, I'm thankful that Bishop Eddie has the blessing of feeding, expressing his love to Jesus by feeding the sheep. He's been feeding sheep Jesus said, if you love me, feed the sheep. He's been feeding the sheep, having camp meetings. I said, teach this, teach this, teach this. And he goes to teach exactly what I said. Sometimes he's been reading, he reads the books to the people. He can have camps and he'll read the book. It's like he won't even a, 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 a preach. Like he'll read the book like as if he's preaching. But he's reading. You know how some people preach? They read notes. Yes. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Many times he, he alerted me to the things that are in my books. Yeah. He said, when you are so proud, said, why should we read your book? Why should you preach your book? Get away, cry. We don't even want to hear, hear of you again. Yeah. But you see the beauty. Feed my sheep. Recently, the Holy Spirit said to me, feed my sheep. He said, you've been feeding them through camp meetings. That's what has led to all these plenty churches. He told me, if you love me, feed my sheep. Feed them. Just be feeding them. What are the camp meeting? We feed them, feed them, feed. They are bursting by the time they are leaving the camp. The spiritual poopoo is very big from the feeding. You know, people who eat a lot go to the toilet a lot. So they, they are full. The camps, it fills them because they don't have time at all. It fills more, 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 more. And Jesus told me, if you love me, feed my sheep. Feed them. Spend time and talk to them. And this year, God is touching your heart. You have to talk to young said, God bless women with the grace of 
preaching and pastoring. They always talking to children. They always talk to the sheep also. This is our calling. And I thank God that if, God forbid, Bishop Eddie is not around today, he has spent his time also feeding. Talking, 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 talking. That's how to love Jesus. There's no other way to love Jesus. Yeah. If you love me, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. So I'm thankful to the Lord for him feeding the sheep. And I'm thankful to God for your life in 2023. You are going to be involved in feeding the sheep and doing the will of the Lord. Amen. And finally, number 10. Lord, I am thankful. that I have the blessings of going to all nations. Amen. I have the blessings of going to all nations. You see there? Yeah. I can do the work of an evangelist. And Bishop Eddie has been doing the work of an evangelist. The other day, I saw them having a swollen Sunday. I said, oh, that is a blessing. This year, you'll be involved in doing evangelism. Amen. Amen. And number 11... I'm thankful that God has delivered me from all my fears. Bishop Eddie, God has delivered you. You are 60 years old. You have seen many things. All your fears, your tests, your harassment, your difficulties. God has delivered you. When Bishop Eddie's father died, he didn't have anywhere to stay. So that when we'd be going home, we realized that he's still in school. Those days, it wasn't common. But he didn't... I didn't know why he wasn't going home. It was later that I realized that he doesn't have anywhere to go. He didn't have anywhere to go. Because his father was dead and his mother was also married somewhere. So he had nowhere. So he was in the middle. And he was just around. So, are you not going home? So, it's like he has rented the university. <laughs> <laughs> he has rented the university as an accommodation. Yes. I was with him at his father's funeral. I remember, 49 years old. It was something. From, I remember very clearly that God has delivered you for so many things. Today, you also have a wife and children and even grandchildren wow that is a blessing that is a blessing amen and then finally I'm thankful for good news throughout 2023 may we hear good news about you and I believe that we are going to be hearing more and more good news concerning your life in Jesus' name, amen. amen. So how many are, great, are glad that we can be thankful for all these many things? Yes. And I'm believing God that we are going to be thankful like that for your life. Let's turn to our feet. I'm going to pray for Bishop Eddie. And then I'll be done with my part. Stretch out your hands and pray. Father, thank you for Bishop Eddie's life, for giving him 60 years. He himself has buried people who are younger than himself with diseases, with conditions, different things that could have also enveloped him. But somehow, by your grace, he is alive and he is here today. We are grateful. Thank you for your provision for him for all these years. He was born in 1963. And Lord, we are in 2023. And you have sustained him every day all through these years. Thank you, Jesus. All that we can say, Lord, is that we are thankful and we are grateful. Thank you for your mercies for his life, your forgiveness for every mistake he has made every error he has made in his life and his ministry and in showing him grace and mercy to be here today 
we are grateful, Lord. And we thank you for his life. Thank you for the many people that he has impacted and the much fruit that he has borne. And also thank you for his love for me and for his faithfulness to me and to his friendship to me and as a family he has been to us uh, all these years. Lord, for that we are also grateful. Thank you that all these years have gone by we are still standing together in this great opportunity that you gave to us from the time that we were in secondary school up till today. We are grateful. And I stretch out my hand and pray for him that you bless him, that you remember him, that you answer and continue to open doors for him. And that Lord, throughout this year and the years ahead, he'll be singing a new song. He'll be singing a good song. He'll be singing a victorious song and a blessed song. And that he will be blessed of you all the days of his life. Give him peace, Lord. Give him harmony. Give him grace. Give him your love. Show him your good things. And let him come closer to you. Let him be nearer to you. Let him find his place in your comfort, in your presence, in your refreshing glory. Let him be in you and with you. And let him walk with you and near you and guide his steps and his steps will be guided by the Lord not only just now but all the way to the end of his life give him many years that he may serve you with joy Ah, let him see the dreams of his heart the visions that you've put in his heart that they will come to pass practically that he will serve you faithfully to the end may he hear those blessed words well done good and faithful servant. May he hear those words one day. May he be able to walk in humility all through his life. May he be able to stay in humility, Lord, and as a son, may he be dealt with as a son all the days of his life. Let him never be near or associated with or connected to anything treacherous or disloyal or wicked or unfaithful all the days of his life and bless him and help him i bless him lord as a son i thank you for you gave him to me to be with me all these years i thank you that he has been there and i ask for your blessing upon his life your strength and health let him not die of any wicked disease let him not fade away let him not wither let him not shrivel lord in the name of jesus but let him grow stronger from strength to strength, healthier and wealthier and more blessed. And let him see his children and his children's children and his children's children's children for your glory. Thank you for what you have begun. I thank you, O Lord, Lord, that he who began a good work shall surely bring it to a perfect end. Bring all things to a perfect conclusion. Bring all things to a perfect end. Thank you for what you've started and what you are finishing to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you. Give the Lord a shout of praise, of thankfulness. And now the rest of us lift your hands. May the Lord bless you and help you. And may there be thankfulness concerning you and not regret may it never be said of you as it was said of Saul that the Lord said it repented me that I've made him a king may there never be a regret concerning your life regret that you've been honored and appointed all through the days of your life But may you go to the very end and receive your crown of faithfulness and your crown of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. May all the blessings of 2023, the blessings of a thankful heart be upon you. Now, the Lord give you peace. May you be turned into another man by the power and the spirit of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. God bless you.
I believe there's communion. Take your communion out. No, no. is my body which was broken for you drink this is my blood which was shed for you whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed the cup of blessing which we bless is the communion of the blood of Christ the bread which we break is the communion of the body of Christ oh this is the holy meal it is the meal of God will sustain you it will heal you all oh, it will give you life when I see the blood oh, oh, oh I will pass over you mm -hmm. when I see the blood oh, oh, oh I will pass over you lift up your bread father thank you for a special communion that we receive on this Sunday let this body of Christ bring healing and life and let it sustain us through the journey that is ahead the body of Jesus Christ Now, this is what is called the cup of blessing. Lift your cup of blessing. May a blessing come into your life as you receive this cup of blessing. The cup of blessing. For your 60th birthday, may a blessing come into you as you drink of this cup a blessing and the bible said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it may you receive a blessing bishop eddie as you receive this cup and may everyone who has lifted up the cup also receive a blessing the cup of blessing Lift your hands for your blessing. May the Lord strengthen you. Strengthen your bones. Heal your blood. Heal your mind. Remove from you weakness and infirmities. And may the Lord strengthen you to live through the 70 years that he has promised you and beyond even to 80. The Lord give you life. The Lord heal you. The Lord restore you. The Lord save you from bad news. The Lord keep you from evil diagnosis and frightening stories and reports of the medical doctor. In the name of Jesus, let this blessing be upon you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.
Thank you so much, Bishop. Oh, please celebrate our Father. Thank you so much. Please, you may take your seats. It's now time to receive our tithes and our offerings. You have your tithes. Please come forward. Today is the first Sunday of 2023. But get ready with your offering to bless the Lord your first Sunday of 2023. Uh, Shekel stars and ashes are in the house to receive your offering. So please lift up your offering, lift up your wallet, lift up your purse, lift up your phone. The numbers are right there on the screen whilst we pray. Father, thank you so much for a blessed day. Thank you so much for all your faithfulness towards us as a church, towards us as a denomination, towards a united denomination, towards Bishop Eddie. And Father, we celebrate you with this offering as well, saying that, Lord, we are sowing into the grace for 60 and beyond. And we know that, Lord, you are with us, blessing us and helping us. In Jesus' name, amen. So please, ushers, receive the offering. Shekel stars, receive the offering. And when the service ends, VVIPs, you have been informed that there's a little reception with Bishop Eddie. The placards will direct you to the venue. And then VIPs will also be ushered to a separate venue. But I told you that since you've spent the day with Bishop Eddie, just as Jesus said, we cannot send the people away fasting. They have been with me for three days hearing the word of God. You have been with Bishop Eddie the whole day and you cannot also be sent away fasting. You need to break your fast. So please, you will get and then some will also have packs and everything. But you will be okay. You will be fine by the grace of God. You will get home smiling. You will go back to your houses smiling. Amen. So that's for the immediately after we are done. We are still receiving the offering. Christians. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. I can If I have 10,000 times, there still won't be
praise you. Everything that I have now, you give to me, Baba. Lord, I say for your love, I'm grateful. Yes, you love the plenty you came to die for me. Jehovah of Jehovah needs I am that I am. Oh, yes, Lord, I'm such a realm. There's no one else like you. Lion of Judah, God of my divine. He has given me victory. Thank you, thank you. Well, we received the convener of the United Denominations, Bishop Ishmael Sam, in the course of the service. Oh, please acknowledge Bishop Ishmael Sam. And Bishop Ishmael Sam will do us the honors of inviting Bishop Eddie Adi to come and cut his 60th birthday cake. Please let's welcome Bishop Sam. Bishop Sam will say a couple of things before he invites Bishop Eddie to come up. Thank you. Hallelujah. It's nice and great to be here and to see all of you and to celebrate the 60th birthday of Bishop Eddie. Beautiful. And um. I want to thank God for many, many years of being around and especially as Bishop was preaching about the family and everything, I remembered the point in the mega church about the fact that you would have a family to celebrate your victories with. You have a family to celebrate your victories with. And as I sat, I realized that you know, some people celebrate occasions and there's no one there to celebrate with them. They have to rent crowds and think, but this is a family that has come together with a father who has been with us for all these years. So, um, before I invite even um, Bishop, I'm sure they are preparing the cake to come so that we cut it. Um, we want to say, Bishop, Thank you very much for building such a wonderful family. You know, thank you for building such a wonderful family. And um, thank you for giving us examples in Bishop Adi and Bishop Saki to follow. Thank you very much. It's not, it's, not, it's not normal. It's not usual. It's not so usual to find a family like this. So it's a blessing to have a father. A blessing to have a father and uh, nice to see uncles as well around and uh, Uncle Steve God bless you <laughs> God bless you and uh, this is a year, our year of giving thanks and I want to thank God for so many years that God has given you an opportunity to belong to this wonderful family and um, let us continue to thank God continue to stay together, continue to fight anything and everything we have to fight against so that we remain a family together and we celebrate. Very soon I'll be climbing the sixth floor and I know that I have a lot of family also to celebrate. It's sixth floor in 60 years. So very soon I'll also be climbing the sixth floor. So this is beautiful. Wow. Put your hands together for Jesus. Wow. Oh, please put your hands together for Jesus. And um, we want to welcome the birthday, birthday man, birthday boy. 
when we got a birthday boy, and then first a birthday boy, birthday senior brother to cut the cake. Bishop, it is the sword of the spirit. So, wow. wow. Bishop, I have a tongue I, I speak. You know, if, if I enter into warfare, I speak those tongues. But the way you are waving the thing, it's almost like trying to come. <laughs> the day I was speaking, I, I was like, Bruce Lee, so please don't let it come. If you would. So we thank God for the king. I think that we want to welcome Mrs. Addy to come, Doctor Mrs. Addy to come, and and help Bishop Addy and the children, John Doug and Marie, and their spouses and the grandchildren to come around. Wow! What a blessing! What a blessing! What started at the canteen many years ago look at what the lord has done produce children and grandchildren wow beautiful john Dan, try and pull your wife and hold it good wonderful wonderful beautiful beautiful See what the Lord has done. We, as He cut it, we pray that every blessing, every prayer our Father has prayed upon His life will come to pass. We say Amen to all the prayers, all the pronouncements that He has made upon your life and over your life. May it come to pass in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is the doing of the Lord. This is the doing of the Lord. Wow. Put your hands together. Wow. Wow. We want to welcome our dear daddy, Bishop, and Aunt Mami to come to also help to cut the cake. What a beautiful family. Put your hands together. Beautiful family with a, with a powerful father. Wow. Wow. See what the Lord has done. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Put your hands together for them, and we also want to so see what the Lord has done. We want to welcome Bishop Saki to come and join Bishop Saki and Sister Elsie. Wow, see what the Lord has done. The blessings of permanence. See what the Lord has done. They all used to sit in every north four. They all used to sit in it to go to Tema. They all fitted in the same car. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. It is done. It is finished. It is finished. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We want to welcome all the ministers, um, Uncle Steve, senior pastors, senior pastors, founders, founders, Uncle Steve and his wife, senior pastors, founders.
to ask we have for founders, senior pastors, and their spouses. Beauty, beauty bishops, beauty bishops, and spouses, beauty bishops and spouses. Bishops and then the first last bishops who will come. <laughs> Bishop Joshua and the Bishop Joshua. How? It's a long time. First last bishops. So Bishop Joshua, first last bishops, come and join me. First love is just let's take let's cut our cake. Bishop Addis, uncles and aunties, close family members, please, if you can come around for. Close aunties, close relatives, those who flew from.
Macarius pastors, all oh, Macarius pastors, please. We'll take other photos after. So this will be the last one, Macarius pastors. Macarius pastors. I am your sacrifice. the song. pictures after but it's okay we want to welcome Archbishop to say the closing prayer the Archbishop of the UD Archbishop we see Ampofo I think we can celebrate Jesus with a better hand clap it's been a wonderful time and allow the hand clap to say happy birthday again as you are clapping your hands. And allow that one to appreciate the presence of our father, Bishop Doug, in the house as you stand to your feet. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we give you all the praise and glory. We thank you for such a wonderful celebration a time like this it is only by your grace as we leave lord the blessings that were pronounced by our father over us may those blessings go with us and may each one be activated as we go i pray for the continuation of the program may everything be done to your glory in the name of jesus above all father we say thank you for 60 years of life for our pastor, Bishop Eddie Adi. Thank you very much. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you. So as we leave, we want to welcome the Holy Hill choreography team. They are going to see us off. So we have closed somehow. So the Holy Hill choreography team will see us off. Please sit. Thank you. Can we please have our ladies with their placards show us where to go? VVIP placards this way. Please follow her, VVIP. Thank you. <laughs> 